Hello, I'm going to show you today what to look for regarding Japanese knotweed in your property. So this is your typical uh, terrace garden, quite narrow but, but very very long. So if you look down towards the bottom of the garden, this is the second part. And dead ahead of you there is some knotweed. And this is very common to have knotweed in close proximity to various waterways, whether the canal or uh, river system. So basically, even though this is now in the middle of winter, knotweed is very, very easy to, to distinguish from other plants um, because what happens is that knotweed leaves behind these dead cane-like structures um, during winter, so the knotweed dies back for the winter, it leaves behind these dead like canes. So there's more over here and further around over here. So it's very easy to see, they're quite robust, dried bamboo esque um, structures. And when you see the zigzag sort of shape of the stand, and when they snap. They are hollow in between. Okay, so there here we've got a considerable amount of uh, Japanese knotweed that has died back in the winter, laying on the ground. Uh, this has probably been pushed over by the recent storms that we've had. And then if we look over here, there is a stand of uh, Japanese knotweed and with this you can tell that it is Japanese knotweed because it will have uh, these bristle type appendages uh, at the end of the stand and that is where the flowers were um, during the summertime. So within this property, even though it's a very long garden, uh, this garden is probably around about 20, 22 meters long. Um, but the problem is because you've got knotweed within the boundary of the property, uh, this would be classed as a category three property, um, so that there's knotweed within the boundary, but it's further than seven meters from the actual property. Um, if you were to sell this property, then uh, you would have a few issues and this knotweed would have to be um, treated. With regard to where this knotweed is in relation to the waterways, I'm fairly confident in saying that the knotweed has um, encroached from the, the waterways um, and has taken up residence within the boundaries of this property. So, just to highlight what to look for with regard to knotweed, these dead like bamboo esque canes which are hollow, um, and during the summer, what will happen is come April, they'll start to emerge bright red buds and then they will start to emerge then into uh, almost asparagus-esque looking um, plants and then the, the growth process will kick start and they will accelerate quite dramatically um, during late spring early summer okay well, i hope that is um, good information for you regarding the Japanese thank you